Uh, it's so good to see everybody. Uh, I hope that you have been tuning in and enjoying our uh, thank yous to you um, and enjoying us giving back to you um, for being there for us and uh, on this really great Giving Tuesday Now campaign. Um, we will... We are in a couple of different places. If you would, if you would really like to be able to um, to donate to us, you can go to Give Big Pittsburgh and search for us under Mariposa Theater, uh, and and give uh, give through there. You can go on our Facebook page. You can go on our MariposaTheater.org um, website or you can go to our Venmo at Mariposa TYA. So I really appreciate that, but that's that's not really what this is about. This is really more about us getting back to you. So with that in mind, I'm gonna bring up our next guest. Um, and you've seen him in our cabarets and you've seen him in The Princess and the Pea and some other shows. And we love Mr. Jaquay Lamont Gibbs. Yes, hello, what is up, yes. yes. So we love you um, and I'm so excited to see you. I haven't seen you in forever. Yes, like yes, that. social distancing, that's a good thing. That's a what good thing we haven't seen each other. It, it, it is a good thing, um, bad thing, but you know how much I miss your presence in my life. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I was thinking about the Mariposa cabarets the other day and then it hit me like, oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Oh, those were the top, those were, those were highlights. Those okay. were highlights. Um, and we did discover this past Saturday that we can do virtual cabarets. God bless. God yeah. bless. They can't be over, not yet. No, no, absolutely not. Uh, so uh, I I will put you on the list for the next one. Yeah, look, I'm not doing anything, so <laughs> might as well. Uh, I understand that you are uh, getting ready to graduate. Sure am, sure am. From? Wow, it's, um, it's, it's something, um, cause I, I go to IUP and I started back in 2015. So five years in college is a long time. I don't know how grad students do it. Good for them. I surely could never. Um, so it's it's truly in that middle line of like, okay, so like, for example, we have to turn in photos for like the virtual graduation as a presentation. And I was like going far back in my Facebook, my Instagram, and I was like, oh my goodness, I've had all these memories with all these people. And I got I got a little emotional, I got a little emotional. But then it also hit me like, Jaquay, you've been there five years. You need to leave. So <laughs> it's really in that middle ground of like, I'm going to miss y'all, but we also have social media. So <laughs> I got to go. go live. So that's where we're at right now. And especially now being the time to graduate, it's, again, it's that balance of it's sad because, you know, I, at least I had plans on how to gradually weed myself out of the structure of college and essentially the the freedom, but having everyone around you all the time. I had a plan to like draw myself away from that. And then it was just like snatched. And I was like, what is going on? But strangely, a good thing about it is that we're all really going through it. So it's like there's this newfound community and truly thanks to this quarantine, I've been doing readings and sing throughs with people that I would have never met without this quarantine. So there's definitely some some benefits to it, but wow, do I miss going outside without a mask on. <laughs> Wearing a mask, cre like, oh my goodness, it's always hot. And then my glasses always fog up to the point where it's like, I, I don't I don't want to like I didn't want to go anywhere. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, I know. Um, it's it sure is something. One of these days we'll go back outside. Who knows when? Um. Well, I mean, we can go outside. I'm I'm lucky. I have a yard, mm -hmm. so I can go outside mm -hmm. and stay in my yard and not have to wear a mask. Absolutely. But, but yeah, going anywhere else is um. It's awful. It's um it's <laughs> it's a lot there's a lot there's just so much you have to do now. So much you have to do. Actually um, but I would really prefer to be doing that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um 
I prefer to be doing that than um, alternative. Oh my goodness, absolutely. It uh, is awful yeah. and it's atrocious that, but you know what? We're all really going through it and we're all doing it together. And mm -hmm. thank God that at least we like have homes to just like sit in yep. and eat everything out of the fridge and binge all of Netflix. Cause update proud moment on my end. Yes. Six months started in October. I am now caught up on Grey's Anatomy from the very <laughs> beginning to the very end so far. I, it's truly one of my life's biggest uh, accomplishments. And after this, I don't know if I can binge a show after a while, cause that's a lot of a commitment. That so. is, yeah, that, that is definitely a commitment. Um, we've been watching, um, and I'm trying to space them out a little bit, uh, on Amazon Prime, the uh, Jack Ryan series. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's so well written, but luckily mm -hmm. it's only two seasons. <laughs> So I haven't gotten into the whole binge. It's so easy to fall into that binge trap, though, because it just keeps rolling. Yeah. And you, it's like you're going to watch a 12-hour movie. It's a lot. But you know it's not a lot? A uh, plug for something that purely isn't mine. But if you're on Hulu, go watch Little Fires Everywhere because it's everything is if it need, if you need a break to binge eight episodes you go on a full ride twists and turns and then it's done and then it's over so if you need a break, whenever you're binging binge that real quick and then hop on back nice Period. all right well um i know that you're gonna sing something for us i um, sure am what do you what, what do you what do you got um ain't that a good question so we're stuck between two so we're gonna do a little uh little coin flip oh so first option is a classic, Let Me Be Your Star from Smash. Oh. We love a little Catherine McPhee, Megan Hilty duo. Um, or, <clears throat> clearly, uh, my other option is another bit of a classic, a little bit of my go-to shower karaoke, um, doing my best in my octave little Judy Garland impression of the trolley song from Meet Me in St. Louis. I know, I know, everyone's favorite. I love, uh, I do, I do love, I do love both of those. I have a soft spot for St. Louis because uh, right. that was the first national tour I ever did. Right. So uh, here's, here's so, what, right. well then let's, let's see the, let's see the coin flip. Absolutely. So here's, here's a slight little, here's a slight little thing though. There's not really a coin in my reach, but there is my contact case. So that's <laughs> what we're flipping. You really have to make with what you got. So here we go. Heads, it's Let Me Be Your Star. Tails, it's the trolley song. Okay. And we're throwing. Okay. Let's go on that trolley. Let's go on that trolley, guys. All righty. I am going to turn this over to you, and I will see you on the other side. Oh, yes. Let's hope the trolley makes it there. My goodness. Let me just pull it up, guys. Pull it up for you, you know? All right. Oh, there's an ad. It's YouTube. What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, we just love this movie, don't we? I haven't seen it. The first time I saw it was like three years ago or four years ago. And now I'm obsessed. I'm a Christmas classic, truly. Judy's looking at her man from the end of the trolley. Do, 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 do. Let me make sure I got these lyrics. With my high starched collar and my high top shoes and my hair piled high up on my head, I went to lose a jolly hour on the trolley and lost my heart instead. With his light brown derby and his bright green tie, he was quite the handsomest of men. I started to yen, so I counted to ten, then I counted to ten again. Clang, clang, clang went the trolley. Ding, ding, ding went the bell. 
Zing, zing, zing went my heart strings from the moment I saw him I fell. Ah. Chug, chug, chug went the motor. Bump, bump, bump went the brake. Thump, thump, thump went my heart strings. When he smiled, I could feel the car shake. He tipped his hat and took the seat. He said he hoped he hadn't stepped up on my feet. He asked my name. I held my breath. I couldn't speak because he scared me half to death. Buzz, buzz, buzz went the buzzer. Plop, plop, plop went the wheels. Stop, stop, stop went my heartstrings. As he started to go, then I started to know how it feels when the universe reels. The day was bright, the air was sweet. The smell of honeysuckle charmed you off your feet. You tried to sing, but couldn't speak. In fact, you loved him so you couldn't even squeak. Buzz, buzz, buzz went the buzzer. Plop, plop, plop went the wheels. Stop, stop, stop went my heartstrings. As he started to leave, I took hold of his sleeve with my hand. And as if it were planned, he stayed on with me and it was grand just to stand with his hand holding mine to the end of the line. Oh, is that the music? Yay! Yay! There we go. Oh, that was awesome. God, I love that. I agree with you. It is such a wonderful movie. Oh, my goodness. If those lyrics weren't in front of me, it would have been messed up because those are a lot of lyrics of the same thing. Oh, my goodness. I was like, do they really sing heartstrings six different mm-hmm. times in this song? Yes. But people love it. People love a little Judy. Yeah, um, it was. Yeah, it's a great it's a really great show. Um, and you did a great job. Oh, hey, thanks. What can I say? Uh-huh. So I, I have one quick question before I mm-hmm. let you go, because I know you're probably really busy. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, so do you have plans after um, the virtual graduation or whatever it is they're doing for you? So I had a year long plan and then Miss Rona just like came in and says psych, but as of right now, I did have a summer contract that's been pushed to next summer, which is better than canceling it. Uh Um, So as of right now, pretty much the goal is to get a job again after all this is over and just save as much money as possible while still supporting our 7-Eleven addiction. So save as much money and then (laughs) probably to New York because that's where all my friends are. And they're like, when are you moving up here? And I'm like, when I got moving up there money. So that's pretty much, that's, that's the plan as of right now. So yes. All right. Well, uh, until then, um, I'm sure audiences will be happy to know that you'll be popping for cabarets and some other stuff. So sure. Hope so. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, the cabarets, it's, it seems like it's a fun thing uh, and, oh, yes. and fairly easy for us mm. to be able to do. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing that. I will be with you and I love you. I love you too. Thanks for having me. Yep. And I will talk to you soon, sweetie. Absolutely. Bye. Bye. So thank you so much, everybody. Uh, I'm really glad that you all were here and you enjoyed uh, Jaquay's little give back of singing the trial song. Um, we will be back at 1.30. And at 1.30, we have the Little Mermaid. I know, right? The Little Mermaid. I think it's awesome. All right. So I will talk to you all soon. I'll see you in about 15 minutes. Bye, everybody.